My five-year-old gets taken out of class every day but not sure why. Posted by Deleted. My son recently informed me that just about every day, some type of aid lady takes him from the class and brings him to a different room with games, balls, scooters, other sensory type equipment. He says they play things like Uno or Mother or May I. Sometimes they ride the little scooters down the hallway, other times he does exercises like jumps and stuff. I guess I am just surprised his teacher never told me any of this not in an email or parent-teacher conference. I was just wondering does anyone here know why this happens? I feel like I am not doing something right at home for them to have to go out of their way and take him out of class. Apparently it's only him and two other boys that get taken out of the class to do this. He is not special ed or diagnosed with anything. I will obviously ask his teacher but I wanted to know if anyone else had this in their school. I know growing up I had nothing like this in elementary school so I am so confused. E. Jenna Sherrimol said. They should have discussed this with you, having said that, it seems cool that they are trying to accommodate your high-energy child instead of punishing him. OP replied. Yay, I agree. I love his school and his teacher is amazing. Well I sent her an email because I am curious, also I feel bad like there's something I am not doing at home with him that could help. He's in karate and is very high energy, limited screen time and I try to get him outside as much as possible. Nombre Unknown replied to OP. At that age their little bodies are telling them to move because that's how their bodies build muscle and grow. Here Tokyuronimus also replied to OP's post. Have you had him tested for an attention deficit disorder? My sister was like this and didn't really change until she got therapy for it. She tried meds but didn't like them. They taught her coping skills instead. OP replied. No, wasn't even on my radar to be honest. I feel like half the comments are telling me to get him tested ASAP, and the other half is saying it's normal 5-year-old boy behavior. Illustrious cut 4837. It might be both. One does not exclude the other. He very well could be ADHD, but that doesn't mean some aspect isn't regular little boy energy. But keep in mind, there are other little boys with little boy energy that apparently do not need to be taken out of the classroom. That indicates your kiddo just might need a little extra support. Never ever 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 hurts to get them tested, and testing at this age is really just a play session. You have literally nothing to lose. Scorpion 128. If your child was disrupting the learning of others or being disruptive in the classroom, the teacher would have told you. If the teacher has not mentioned getting your child tested for ADHD, it is probably not something to worry about. Just something to keep in the back of your mind. Not something that has to be acted on ASAP. Do have a conversation with the teacher. But this sounds like the teacher realizes your child is high energy and is giving the appropriate opportunities to your child, so their energy levels do not become an issue. Does this school follow a Montessori program? OP replied. Not Montessori, just public elementary. And yay, that's what I figured, if this was a problem I would have been notified by now. I guess they haven't told me because it's not a big deal, and then that had me wondering if this was a thing now that all public schools did. He is definitely high energy though, so I'm so grateful they accommodate for him and not punish him for it. OP said this, and a lot of people replied that it sounded like occupational therapy. Yes, he is very high energy. Also recently discovered during carpet time, he as well as the other two boys as I mentioned above, they have to sit in these special chairs while all the other children sit on the floor. They almost look like a rocking sled or something. I am almost wondering if I should get him tested for ADHD. Update on my son getting taken out of class every day. And now to the update. Sorry I don't know how to link my post from yesterday which is what I'm referencing, but I got a lot of responses asking me to update once I emailed his teacher. It's not occupational therapy which is what some people here thought, but I was clarified that I would have had to consent if that was the case. So basically the school has built in universal supports for all children. Some of the tools they use for my son in particular is that rocking chair he sits in at circle time and sensory breaks being done by a para. He doesn't go every day like I was originally led to believe but usually three, four times a week, pretty much when they have the extra para available to help. This is also why his teacher didn't formally tell me, because she said it wasn't a certainty that he'd even be able to go every day. Also because it's just part of their tools they implement for students who they feel need it. 
It's not like an IEP plan. He doesn't get taken out of class during any type of important instruction time. It's during snack rest time. I am very grateful for his teacher. She said my son is very funny and makes her laugh all the time. He just has lots of extra energy and is really benefiting from this kind of reset time. She didn't mention anything about ADHD in her reply email and didn't mention he's causing any disruptions to the rest of the class. Reminder, I am not the OP. Do not comment on linked posts. So what do you think? Share your thoughts in the comments below. It's concerning that some children are being taken out of class for sensory breaks without their parents being informed. If you like this content, please consider subscribing. We post new Reddit stories every single day.